going to one of our favorite brunch spots. McFall's Iron Horse Tavern. They have the best chicken and waffles. I have not had many chicken and waffles other places, but this one's the best to me. So if you know best chicken and waffles in Maryland, drop it down in the comments and I'll check it out because this is my favorite. I'm actually not, I think it's very weak. <laughs> Are you? So now we ended up going to Cromwell Valley Park because this weekend's really special. They have a special event and it's going to show us how they make maple syrup. So we're going to make a few hypotheses. Maple syrup. What is a hypothesis? Honey. No. Sugar. No. It's a prediction, right? Yeah. It's a prediction. So where do you think maple syrup comes from? Bees. bees. So Sophia thinks maple syrup comes from bees and honey. What? Right? Where do you, CJ, you just had waffles with maple syrup. Where do you think maple syrup comes from? Comes from honey. From honey? Yeah. And then what do they do to the honey, you say? Uh, they put it in chocolate. Oh, honey and chocolate. Yeah. Good guess. All right, we made our hypothesis. Let's go see where the maple syrup comes from. Okay. All right, let's go. Just bring that, your coffee. So where's your hypothesis? Where do you think that maple syrup comes from, honey? <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> Is there a maple? A maple tree? Maple tree. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I thought that maple Northern. syrup was only from the north, like Canada. Is, How could there the be north? a maple tree here in Maryland? We're technically northeast. <laughs> Let's find out. Mm -hmm. That's the tree yeah. where syrup actually comes from. So it's not from bees or honey. What? It's from a tree. Well, so we're bees gonna... make honey. They make it in a tree. And the honey drops in the tree. Yeah. Mm, no, it's actually sap. What? Yeah. It's what not bees it? at all. What? Oh. What? Yep. Maple syrup is cooked over wood, fire, and Yep, they're all different kinds. 
What? Do they all taste like maple syrup? Yeah, they all taste like maple syrup. What? <laughs> well, some are like dancing over there. Ago, Native Americans lived here, lived on our land, and they discovered that something lovely would drip out of trees, and it was called sap. It was kind of like water, but it was sweet. And they figured out that they could make maple syrup out of it. And do you know how they made maple syrup? I'll show you. <laughs> it was a long process. So they would find a tree, and they would make a big cut in it, like this. And then they put a piece of bark under it to catch the sap that would drip out. And they would drip right into here. This is just a hollowed out tree log. So during maple sugaring season, they would set up camp in the woods for about a month to do this all the time. So they would collect sap in this trough here. Now the sap is mainly water. And only a little bit of sugar is in it. But you want to get rid of the water to get to the sugar. Do you know how they did it? Smart. They used hot rocks. They couldn't boil the sap because they didn't have the metal pots yet. They had to do something else. Here, hold them to their sap. Let's see what's going to happen. That's how they boiled their sap. Isn't that cool? So the sap would get really hot and would boil and boil, and eventually it would boil down Put to maple syrup. There. But what they were really going for Put was the maple sugar. Put because maple up. syrup will spoil, Put but maple sugar will keep. Oh, now. Slow and steady. Uh, best the here. Wow. Slow and steady. in the middle of uh, like right by where Ranger Ann was has her fire in the native maple. We've tapped a couple of those you can see. Um, there's silver maple. Uh, a Japanese maple is the question. I, I think that's the one that none of the staff. Hold on for a second. Listen to me all the way. If you care to you can stick your finger underneath and catch a drop. Please don't put your finger on the spile just because we have a lot of fingers. So we're going to put it under collect a, a drop and then we're gonna follow me this away. If you care to, if you don't want to, that's okay, all right? 
And then Ranger Laura is going to put the joke back on him. Yeah. So did you hear it? Did it touch it? Like to try it. It's probably going to be sugar water. Sugar water. You want to try it? Want to try it? No? It doesn't taste that good. All right, let's follow her. Yeah. How did it taste? It tastes kind of like water, but there's like sugar in there. Like a sugar water? Yeah. Oh. I didn't taste anything. You didn't taste anything? Yeah. Water. 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 Put it in just at a 90 degree angle like that. Yeah. Uh, you wouldn't have ever seen. You're going to put it in here. I'm also taking the sunny side of the tree. Uh, you saw the tap on the other side is kind of in the shade. It's fine. The tree will still produce. But the warmth of the tree, the sap will probably be fed up on this side. you saw on some of the sugar maples little holes somebody else is tapping the trees too and that could have possibly been how native people so far everything's been cold though there we go just like that perfect so um if you haven't had a pancake yet we're gonna head in that direction you're welcome to get in line for pancakes i'm also gonna be standing at a table near the pancakes with syrup samples if anybody would like to this is so nice and very educational, very educational. I learned a lot. Oh, did daddy, you made this while we were listening? Yes. Wow. Look at that. Now we get to try some maple syrup. What do you think? I want to try another one. Okay. This is a fun fact. This is how many jugs of sap you need to make one bottle of maple syrup. One, one gallon. All of these. Crazy. What do you think? Grab a cup and put them on the <laughs> What do you think? Ebony. Hey. Mule, because you said, I see his spray. He's mad at you. Also, you said it. Oh, I see your brain, little guy. I see your brain. Make the noise. Oh, I see your brain. That's yeah. your manners. Those pancakes with syrup were absolutely delicious. Yeah. You have yeah. to use your manners, Mommy. Yeah, now you know where ma where does maple syrup come from? Trees. From trees, yeah. Did you learn a lot today? Yep. Give me one other fact that you learned off the table. Yes, Sophia? Not honey, what do they make? Um, sap. 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 Yeah. And then what do they boil the sap down and then what do they get at the end? Honey. Honey. Not honey, syrup. 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 <laughs> honey is bees, but they're both sweet. Alright. Ready to go? We're still really keyed in on honey, so I think we're gonna have to find a lesson on honeys and bees. So I really loved this event. What did you think? It was great. It was great. You learned a lot about the Native Americans and how they kind of are the ones that learn how to. Oh, look at this! Look, it's like the birds that you see here at Cromwell Valley, and they even have like a list. Interesting. Anyway, you learn about how the native Americans saw like the woodpeckers doing it. They would face 
started doing it and the, they would burn it down with using hot rock and they would make maple sugar because the maple sugar held better than syrup and it would be high in calorie and it would be around this time of year where it would be really cold. They're running out of their nuts and seeds from the fall. It's really educational. I really loved it. I'm definitely gonna have to come back for more educational things here. It's awesome. The kids really liked it too. It kept their attention. So I'm also in this video gonna include one time, um, this was a few months ago, we came to Cromwell Valley Park and walked around and we checked out inside of the house. There's so much in there that I had no idea about. So I'm gonna include that video now. Look, let's see what's in this cage. Look, all the way over here, what's over here? Oh, turkey. <gasps> Whoa, turkey. Look, it's a big turkey. Don't touch it, he bites. It's so stupid. It's so chunky. So you want to know why he's so chunky? Yeah. Because they're going to eat him on Thanksgiving. Maybe not. That looks like a boy turkey and that looks like a girl turkey. He said they're wild. They are wild? That's what he says, wild turkey house. Well, being that it's in a cage, I doubt that it's wild. <laughs> No, but they could have gotten from the wild though. They're like not the uh... like not a store bought turkey. Not like the ones that you have in the farms though. What did they say? They said buck 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 buck. You say it good. Let me hear you say it again. Buck buck. Oh my goodness! You say it so good. You sound just like a chicken. He's eyeing you up. He's eyeing you up. Look at him. He's got he's got his eye on you. I know they are aggressive. Yeah, I know. He's trying to come after you. Look at him. Wait, did you hold? Did you hold the? The noise? Yeah. Did you hold the noise? Yeah. I think that's the girl. Look at the snakes. <gasps> snakes. Look at the snakes. Oh, oh God. Ugh. Nothing. I think it's like the ball with the snake. Oh, that would have been so cool to see an eagle. The eagle will eat that, the snake. That would be a really small house for an eagle, though. I feel like. Interesting that there's a snake there, and I don't think the snake is supposed to be there. Oh. Oh.
Alright, here, you want me to take it? Don't you want egg? I know that egg is Robin. It's one of those free libraries. Come on. Looks like a tree. I like that. Makes it unique. Mm -hmm. Something smells so good. It smells like lavender. Virginia sweet spire. Let's smell it. I think it's this. No, I think it's this. I think it's this. Mm. What is that? Yeah. Is that a lily? No, it smells like a lily. That's what it is. Aww. Do you see the bird up in the birdhouse? Yeah. It's a baby bird. It's a baby bird like you. He's saying hi. I'm scared to fly out of the gourd birdhouse. But I'm here. But I'm scared to fly. It's not my time yet. Oops. There he is. Just kidding. He just flew out of the house. <laughs> it's just a grown bird. <laughs> <laughs> what? <gasps> what happened? The falcon. <gasps> what? To eat it. He tried to eat it. He's chasing him. <gasps> I see. Carlos just told me I killed it because I scared it out of its nest, and some other bird just tried to eat it. <laughs> That's not true. Yeah, it is. That was a grown bird. That was a grown bird. All right, can you pick it up with one foot? <laughs> Good job, buddy. All right, leave it there. This is asparagus. Fun fact that we learned the other day at my daughter's field trip. Asparagus changes colors like the trees. That asparagus looks good too. You're getting hot. You want to take your shirt off? Yes. I was hoping for some fall foliage and it it's almost barren. A lot of the trees already lost their leaves. Seems early, but maybe not. Oh, See what he found. The hills are alive with the sound of music. <laughs> oh, it's just like this big green field. I feel like I'm, <laughs> I'm not the only ones. They're enjoying it too. The historic cemetery. Are there gravestones over there? Ah, well, let's just keep walking over here on the trail. Come on, buddy.